because a man was arriving who just got done putting on a clinic here in Indiana at Indianapolis Coach Training Camp. Joint practice with the Detroit Lions. Hard Knocks here as well. Got a chance to see the NFL Films crew. We talked to Jim Irsay. We talked to Pac-Man Jones. Mm -hmm. Pittman Jr. got on the mic. That's right. Uh, uh, Hines. Yannick Ngakwe, Naeem Hines. And now joining us, the quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. A man who I think had one incompletion. Today. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Ryan. Yeah. Hey. What's up, boys? How are we hey, doing? Hey, as you were coming over here, I said, I don't want to talk to you. Don't say anything. <laughs> I'd like our natural first conversation to happen live on air. You were trying your best. You were saying a lot of things. You just fucking cooked that team. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey you, I don't time. know what Hard Knocks is going to look like <laughs> this week. You That was awesome to watch, especially as a Colts fan, not knowing what to expect with this team. Watching a Buffalo game, it's hard to judge like who's playing, who's not playing. I don't think Jonathan Taylor was getting a lot of rub, so that changes the team completely. You guys looked unbelievable out there. Now it's just practice, all the bullshit you're going to say. Of course. But that had to feel really, really good, Matt. Honestly, that was awesome to watch. Yeah, no, it was a good day. Good day. Obviously, I got enough space here. Am I good? Well, the table. I the mean, it's a whole thing. Let me get a little whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I thought it was good. And obviously, you know, we'll watch a film and I'll say all the stuff we're supposed to say, but it, it felt um, felt like us, you know, it felt like what it should be. And uh, we got a long way to go for sure. But stuff like today is encouraging, you know, and um, where you see guys making plays, we saw a lot of press man coverage, which is good, really good work for us. And seeing different looks in the, in the back end and making the adjustments we need to make in the past game, I thought it was, you know, pretty sharp and hopefully we can build on it and be better tomorrow. You're not going to be better tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. honestly, it's hard to be. I, 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 yeah. I honestly, I'm not 100 sure. And we just talked to Unique, and he was talking about because we said all we saw was down here. We didn't get to see yeah. the yeah. defense. We said how to go down there, and he was like, "Yeah, I felt pretty good today. Our defense felt good." <laughs> so you guys had this, and he said we've been hitting the same people for two and a half weeks. It the energy felt very real out there for you guys. Is and now I don't know who's setting the tone, who's setting the standard, but was this treated differently, obviously, than most practices? And did you guys know, like, hey, we can get a chance to get a look at what we might look like this season right now today? Yeah, it's different. I mean, you know it, haven't yes. been through it. Like, it gets, I don't want to say it gets old going against the same guys every day, but, like, they know your stuff, you yeah. know them. Yeah. They're looking at the same route combinations every day. You're looking at the same coverages every day. And so when you go in, you start to see some different things and, uh, see some different coverages, work some of the concepts we're trying to work, maybe not against the coverages we're, you know, trying to work them again. They look better, yeah. you know, and they actually when work. When the defense doesn't yeah, know. They, yeah. they actually work, right? And so uh, it makes a big difference. Um, so for my – I always like this kind of stuff, uh, to be honest with you, because I do think, you know, you mentioned – I think there's a different energy, you know, level to it. Guys can say whatever they want, but, you know, you, you can feel it. You can feel it out there. There's a level of intensity that ratchets up and – um, I thought we did a nice job of it, and uh, we got to do it again tomorrow. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, dominant, man. dominant day. But uh, I'm not even going to talk about today or even the Colts. I'm going to talk about kind of young quarterbacks and kind of how they're thrust and a lot is put on their plate and they're judged so early. I feel like when you came to the league, you guys were given a little more time to develop before you became those guys. What is it uh, – like, what's the toughest thing for a young quarterback that so much is put on their plate coming into the league? What's the toughest adjustment? Yeah, it's um, – it is. You're, you're right. I think it is different now. I think the, the level of expectation for guys coming in is – Social media? Yeah, 100%. Um, <laughs> yes. I had a flip phone. You know, I had a flip phone my first year. Yeah. So you didn't have to open up, you know – after this guy practice stinks. see every and complete, hear how bad yeah. how shitty you practiced that you know that day uh so there was there was more of a grace period i think i think i was like ap rookie of the year um and i had like 16 touchdowns and and 11 picks yeah you know so it's <laughs> yeah. like it's just the expectation yeah. uh for for you know guys coming in is different um and at that time you know, I remember being a rookie, it was a lot about, should we even play this guy? You know, should we just sit him? Should, should we let him gain experience, uh, learn, you know, how to be a pro? And, and really now it's just not that way. You yeah. Know, you get drafted, you're going, man. Yeah. You're going in. And um, I think it's, it's tough on these young guys. Um, I think the hardest part, you know, I think you catch up to the pass game pretty quickly. Like you get adjusted to how fast wide receivers are and how fast DBs are. What, what's different is pass rush. Yeah. You know, it's just, I, I mean, I don't even know how to explain Like the, Wait, the, you scared? A little antsy? A little dancy? It's just so much faster than college. The clock, you know, the clock, like the yeah. clock, the, the timing of, of how you get it out. Oh, you at BC, too. You used to take your time. And throw oh, it. yeah. No doubt, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, had good, I had good offensive lines at mm -hmm. BC. Um, so it was different, you know, and, and you get to the league and it's just pass rush games, the, the amount of blitzes that you're having to pick up. 
um, what they're asking you to do in pass protection. That part is just, it's so different and yeah. um, it takes time. You know, recognizing where blitzes are coming from, understanding, like I was always shocked. They kept talking about the fronts we were getting and how it tied into the back end. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. You know, like I, I can't process all this information, you know, as a young player. And the longer you play, the more you start to tie all those things together and it helps out. At what point was it for you? Uh, like, was it like third season, fourth? Like, because now you tie, now at that point, you kind of, it's kind of, everybody's kind of doing the same thing just in different ways. Like, yeah, what, for sure. For you? I think it was a third season. You know, I, I felt like that second season for me, I was probably a little cocky, like, oh yeah, I got it now. You know, I know what I'm looking at. And then boom, you know, yeah. you start getting hit with different stuff. So you go through that period of, of like you're learning, then you think you know, then you realize you actually don't know, and you kind of grind through that part, and then you get to a place where, all right, I've got you know a pretty good feel for uh, how it's shaken out. But defenses, I got to be honest with you, defenses have evolved, you know, a lot um, from when I first got into the league to now. Yeah, and That's the amount of rules are so soft now. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you would see a lot more of that when I like you wouldn't get as much exotic stuff in the fronts, Exotics. and you would just get these guys just getting collisioned on the outside yeah. uh, and reroute it, and you'd be like, "It's got to be a penalty. Like that, that can't be legal." But <laughs> that that has changed now, which is good. And now I think you see more stuff up front that you have to adjust for. What year is this for you? Fifteen. Woo! Okay, God, damn. damn. Congratulations. Yeah, not Thanks. easy. Not easy at all. Doesn't matter how much time you had at Boston College. I mean, 15 years is tough. Uh, but you get, like, another chance to prove yourself, it feels like, right? And we talked about this whenever you came into our office and brought us beer. What? what? Which was awesome. Yeah, delicious. No beer today. Sorry, boys. Well, yeah, That's what right. the f camp? Yeah, you know. It is keeping camp. It we're in camp right now, right? Yeah. Going after yeah, Super Bowl. Look, look water, coffee, go. what? Gatorade. What? I'm trying to stay hydrated as well. I'm happy to bring you brujas. <laughs> but this is a new challenge. Um, like a day like today or any success that you have is a new success with a new team. Has there been any difficulties picking up a new offense? Because I know we chatted about it and terminology was going to be the thing. But you're old now. You're with one uh, one particular place for so long. New place. Any any kind of hurdles of getting adjusted and, you know, kind of acclimated to the Indianapolis Colts? Or has it been kind of a smooth transition? No, there's I mean, there's different things. There's different hurdles that that you have to go through. For me, one of the, to be honest with you, one of the, the biggest things is we have like uh, different terminology in our pass protection. And so it's funny how your brain works, right? Like, Buffalo, you get out were you there, fucking anyone up? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't screw anybody up in Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I had like 15 plays. So, yeah. you know, small sample size. I watched them. But, but, yeah. <laughs> But one of the things, one work. of the things that's hard is is you start getting these overload pressures and you want to get like four guys going one way or something, and you might have called it one thing for like 14 years, yeah. and there's like that click where it's like, ah, oh, what, 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 what do we call, call that? You <laughs> know, like is it a Ram? Is it a Ron? Is it Ringo? Is it Ralph? It's, it's one of them. And so if I call the R word, just go to the right. You know, it's 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 like one of those things. That's probably been the thing where the last couple of weeks it started to seep in um, where you're just and, and you, you can study it all you want until you're out there doing it where it's like it's got to be now yeah. you don't have time um, you know it, it just it just that's why you need this time you know that's why this time is so invaluable that it becomes automatic in like one second you know you just know you don't know how you know it but you just made the call and it's yeah. out and and you're playing ball yeah and not thinking right that's when you think you die rooster said that no <laughs> that's right no maverick said that to rooster, to rooster. And, rooster. And, and rooster stopped thinking at the end yeah, yeah. and guess what didn't die i haven't mm. seen the new one. Oh, you have to oh, Matt, what are you doing? bobby carpenter would be disgusted stop I've been, golfing i've been grinding i've been watching film yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, just, yeah of course it. two days proper. uh this camp compared to any uh any other camps different same similar i feel like so i came in in 2008 so 2008 2009 2010 were before the cba changes mm, yeah we were still in like <laughs> These guys are like, oh, we're grinding. I'm like, oh. you know, I think we're putting in good work. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, grinding's a different deal. Uh, it's been good. You know, Frank. Frank's really good about uh, taking care of the guys, setting an expectation for when it's time to work, we have to go to work. Uh, but he's also, you know, going to give you time to recover and do those things. So I think it's been great. He, his first year as head coach here, Philip Rivers, quarterback he knew very well from the Chargers days. Second year here. Uh, Carson Wentz, 
guy he knew from Philadelphia days, a lot of success together. You're the first quarterback that hasn't come directly from a Frank Reich tree. How's the relationship been with Frank Reich? Because he's play caller, head coach, making decisions, former quarterback. I assume you two just get along. But how is that relationship going with the head coach? That's, it's been awesome. You know, I, I've, I've really enjoyed working with him. Um, you know, I think his experience, I think it's a really cool spot where he has this wealth of knowledge of doing it with different guys. And I have kind of this wealth of knowledge of maybe doing it a different way um, in certain things. And Peers? You guys talking to each other like peers more? Uh, Do, you don't have listen, like I understand the pecking order. I, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. Under, you, you, you know, you, you guys are in the yeah. building. You yes. know there's, there's that pecking order. And there's just a level of respect um, that the head coach gets. And Frank has earned it. You know, the way he does it, the guys uh, show him a high level of respect. So I understand that. But I think he's welcomed collaboration. You know, he's, he's really been open to that and open to my input. And, um, you know, I think it's been awesome. How much input do you have on today? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. was that a lot or unbelievable? I don't know. You know, it was, so did you hear me just yelling over here? I, I, I did not. I, honestly, yeah, did you or not? I, I did not. I did not. I didn't okay, hear you guys. You got to be louder. I no, no, no. <laughs> Different zone. Bro, yeah. we went to a commercial. I got these things in, obviously. We go to a commercial <laughs> break. I take this out. I walk out. I'm like, oh, nobody's making noise right now. We were just going. Another completion. <laughs> oh, no, I think it was hard because everybody was going crazy when you came out, like all the fans and stuff. Like that's the part I could hear. So like I feel like every time you came out of a little tent right here, that the the, the stands were going nuts up hey, there. So. Um, we got a suite at the game. Oh, we do. No, what we, section? Where are you at? So like from right. our side, I don't even know the stadium really. So. Okay, so I think from your sideline, we'll be to the right in the back of the end zone. Okay. On the ground though, on yep. the field. You showed a little wiggle today. You know that. <laughs> a little wiggle. Uh -huh. You did. You showed a little wiggle, a little run. I think you even threw one across your body. Mm -hmm. How's the body feel? Feel athletic right now? You look athletic out there. Yeah, body's good. You know, I, I've always felt like um, by, by no means am I like a running quarterback, but I've always felt like I've done a good job throughout my career, Survive. probably better than people, you know, maybe give me credit for of extending plays, getting outside the pocket, you know, being able to, to do some of those things where you stay on the move and um, – I'm actually, I actually throw pretty well in the run. Yeah, so. yeah, you were. Yeah. You're actually kind yeah. of athletic. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. 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 Go ahead, Ty, your question for Matt Ryan. Matt, you talking about like the social media, we've seen a lot of Alec Pierce looking really good out here. When And when you have all these new guys, how much time does it take for you to build that rapport and trust with a new receiving core? And also, like, does it even matter because you know that once the season starts, like, you're going to have to re rely on those guys no matter what? Yeah, well, I think it does matter. You know, I, I think the time that you put in now and the work that you put in now if it's done right like if you're intentional about how you do it I think that stuff pays dividends as you go throughout the year um, so I, I you know I, I think it matters um, and I spend a lot of time with them I, I think every guy is different you know and so it might be a little more time spent with Alec uh, it might be you know a little less time with Pitt where he has more experience on some of the stuff you're doing and, and you've seen a couple of the routes versus certain yeah. leverages, certain coverages that he you're looks like, good. yeah, I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. You know, like I'm good with that. Just keep doing it that way. Um, so it, it's different for each guy. I've always been, I don't think there's a one size fits all approach to it. Like you have to, you have to adapt to the guys around you. Each guy isn't wired the same way. You've got to adjust to, to the needs of, of other guys. And, um, we, we have a, a really good group, a group that's willing to work, but all of them are different. And so you got to work with them in a different way. Hey, can we try not to just give this to the other team every single play? This, year? <laughs> this one right here? Yeah, that right one. Here. Not, not only that one, Come but on. like the ones. That was kind of a fumble to start. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, let's fucking grab a hold of that ball and let's go ahead and hang on to it. Forever. Yeah, I'm good. 251, Colts 251. I'm hey, good with it. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, man. You've been nothing but a professional, not only with us, but in Indianapolis. All reports are that you're just the man. Uh, we can't wait to watch, man. This team's ready to go. Jim Irsay talked earlier. He's like, Matt Ryan feels like he's been on the same path chasing that Lombardi as us. And now that we're together, we're doing it. Do you feel the synergy? I, I think you should. Like, do you feel welcomed here in Indy? You should. Yeah, Everybody no, loves you. There's no question. Um, it's been awesome. I did, I did a, this is like a shameless plug, but I did, I did a, um, like a signing for the Toyota dealership that I'm doing some stuff with here. And I went out for the oh, first wow. time. Wow. Oh, wow. Toyota. Look at you, man. Get a Camry for the guy. Yeah, yeah, there you new go. one. Man, oh, but okay, anyhow, sweet. I went out and did the signing over in Muncie, Indiana. And I was supposed to be there for like an hour and a half or whatever. And the turnout was unbelievable. And so 
I do feel the love, you know, and, and uh, obviously with that comes a lot of responsibility. So we're going to work our asses off to, to try and get it done, but we feel really good about where we're at. I'm happy you're not just boozing, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, ladies what? and gentlemen, Matt Ryan, thank you, buddy. Yay! Thank you so much, man. Woo! I'll keep that ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, we just stole it. Tone Diggs just grabbed it. Hey, it. have a great camp, man. Today was awesome. Appreciate you. All right, yep. we're wrapping up our day here at Coach Training Camp. Um, that guy's awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. Everybody talking about him is like, hey, good luck out there, dude. I'm about to sing your praises, so please. <laughs> Everybody talking about him. Equipment managers, trainers, yeah. teammates, coaches, owner mm -hmm. of everybody's like, feels like we got a Peyton back in the room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and Peyton's obviously one of one, but yeah. a guy who's going 15 years in the NFL at a high level is also one of one. And I think Matt Ryan can really change his entire legacy with this team here. Those young guys, though, I mean, the weapons, if they perform like they did today forever, they'll be fine. Hey, this team's going to be something. This yeah, team's going to be something, man. Would, I, I honestly believe that. Would